and welcome back for another video. This week, you probably already guessed, is going to be all about e.l.f. Cosmetics makeup because they recently came back to the UK and I'm pretty excited about it. I really adore their products. If you didn't know, actually, I used to work for e.l.f. Cosmetics when they were back in the UK the last time. I used to do their social media, blog posts and YouTube videos sometimes and I just really, really adore the brand. Some of the products are so, so good for such a low price point. So I thought, seeing as they're back, I would pick some of my favorites and share them with you. So if you want to find out some of my favorite all time ever e.l.f. Cosmetics products, then just keep watching. So I worked in e.l.f. Cosmetics about two and a half years ago now, which feels mad because it doesn't feel like that long ago. But that was my first real career job. Um, I was studying journalism in university and then I went straight and um, started working in e.l.f. Cosmetics. And it was kind of like my dream job because I got to talk about makeup all the time and I worked with really, really amazing people. So it was a really, really great place to work. And I absolutely fell in love with the products because even though I do love my high-end beauty products, there's nothing better than finding something that works just as good for kind of like, maybe sometimes like 10% of the price, which is nuts. So that's why I really wanted to do this video because some of these products are staples of mine. And even though now I work with much more like premium makeup, I'm still always gonna have these in my collection, no matter what. So first up is my most used ever e.l.f. Cosmetics product and it does look a bit grubby actually. I promise to clean them up before I do the close-ups but this is just how much I use them. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Contouring Blush and Bronzer and I think this is the shade Saint Lucia and I absolutely love this palette. It's got a blush on one side and then a bronzer on the other side and a lot of people compare this bronzer to Laguna. I like this far more than I like Laguna and I really do like Laguna but it just isn't deep enough for me and the next shade up in the NARS lineup is probably too dark and this is just the perfect in between for me. I use this on a daily basis to kind of add bronze to my face, to contour sometimes. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it but not too much. I also use this as an eye shadow and it's just an all-round must-have for me. When I used to work in Elf Cosmetics this was £3.50 which is mad. I feel like I should have stocked up on like thousands of them but now I think they've upped the prices a bit and it's £5 which still is a really really good price point and as well it's got the blush on the other side and this is kind of a really lovely kind of like corally pink which really suits my skin tone and I just wear it kind of every day if I can't decide which blush to wear this is an easy go-to this actually really looks lovely as an eyeshadow as well this is just like the perfect combination for me it also has a mirror up in here which makes it really really good just for popping in your handbag and the textures blend really easily don't ever stick to any dry patches and I just think it's like the perfect multi-use thing and for a fiver you really can't go wrong would be better if it was £3.50 again but what can you do but this is definitely like my most raved about e.l.f. Cosmetics product and the one product I would recommend to everyone. I think they've got it in other like um, shade variations as well so you can definitely find something like that will fit for you um, but for me St. Lucia is like my holy grail go to have to have it at all times and I'm definitely going to be making another purchase soon and having a backup of this one. My second most used is this. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Matte Lip Colour in Praline, Praline, I don't know how you say it, but that's what it is. It's a matte lip colour, but it's not like completely matte. This is probably completely butchered because I use it all the time. But yeah, it's kind of just like a pencil matte lip colour and it's so easy to apply. I have very uneven lips and for me, having a pencil like this to draw on just makes it so, so much easier. In terms of it being a matte, it's not like a drying out type of matte at all, which I prefer because I have very dry lips. It's still quite creamy, but it does have the staying power, which I really, really love because my lips just can't seem to keep lip color on them. But with this, when I pop this on, it always starts, it stays on, it always stays on. And that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's a really easy go-to lip color. For me, it's kind of like the perfect nude because it's kind of like a nudie brown kind of shade. Um, but it doesn't wash me out at all because in the winter times I tend to go like really pale but I could still get away with wearing this. I've got this as well in a few other colours. I've got in a pink but I don't wear that one as much so I don't remember what it's called. The one I wear second to this is the red which is called I believe 
rich red and that is a beautiful kind of like iconic red colour and for me if I'm wearing a red I want it to be very precise um, so it doesn't go over the lines and in this kind of like bullet form it's so easy to apply so if you love your matte lip colours but don't want anything too drying I would highly recommend having a look at these. So the next thing is something I use every single day without fail and I had a look on the Superdrug website and I couldn't find this. So if they don't actually sell it, I'm going to be really upset because it's amazing. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Powder Brush and it's kind of like a dense, flat top, kind of like fanned um, makeup brush and I use this to kind of blend out my makeup. So if I apply bronzer, I will use this to blend out the edges. If I apply blush, I use it to blend out the edges. I just use it to kind of like make my um, blends really flawless and seamless because I don't really like those harsh edges. You know when people do a contour and you can really see that line? I'm just not a fan of it. I like it to be softer and a bit more subtle. So this is like my holy grail for doing that. I think I bought it maybe for like five pounds, but it was so long ago now. Literally, it was like two and a half years ago. I wash it quite regularly, not as often as I should, but it's lasted the test of time. And I have about three of these that I kind of like interchange. Um, sometimes I shouldn't do that because it means that I go without washing them for a little while longer. But I had to mention this and I hope, hope, hope that it is available because it just makes life so much easier, especially if you're kind of like a novice at makeup. This will help you have like no mistakes in the blending department. Um, but yeah, if I can find it, I will link it down below and hopefully it's still there because I feel like this is something that everyone needs. If you're into blush, then you definitely, definitely need the e.l.f. blush palette. This is something that I don't use on a daily basis, but if I'm going on holiday or traveling, I like to take like a selection of things with me. I have been that person that has taken far too much makeup to one destination, but I like to have choice. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics blush palette and I've had this for quite a while now and I haven't even touched the surface because you need just the slightest amount because they're so pigmented. My go-to ones are these two just because they're a bit more like muted toned and I prefer that. This one is intense though. I can't remember what it's called. They don't have their names on it. But this is the dark um, colour selection if you wanted to know. And I just think this is like the perfect thing when you're travelling. As well, I think if you bought all three colour variations, I think there's like a light, medium and dark, you can interchange them um, because they pop out which is really, really good. So you can kind of like make a palette that's customizable to you. I don't know if they do the individuals in this kind of square thing, but it'd be good to find out actually. So if I find the individuals, I'll link that down below. But again, I just think this is such a great thing for traveling. And you could probably use these as eyeshadows as well. I think I've used this one as an eyeshadow before and it's kind of like a pinky hazelnut kind of shade, which is really, really beautiful. And I just think you can't go wrong. It's got a mirror in it as well which makes it again very very good for traveling and I just think for the fact how inexpensive they are you get very very good pigment and it blends really really beautifully so definitely recommend these. The next thing I recommend is the e.l.f. smudge pot and if you're like me and you love makeup but sometimes you just can't be bothered to sit there and blend something for half an hour then you will love these because when it comes to my eyes I just want to pop something all over my lid and blend it out and be good to go and I've got this on my eyes today and it's kind of like a a bronzy cream eyeshadow that you can pop all over your lid and it blends so easily and it's really creamy but it stays put and it never kind of creases in my eye which is really really great so I just pop this all over my lid and on my lower lash line and blend it out really and they're really inexpensive I think these are about four pounds but I'll link them down below just to be sure and this has been something I didn't think I'd use it as much as I do but when I'm sat down I'm like oh what makeup am I going to do today I always tend to pick this up and go with this because it's just so super easy and the pigment on it is insane. I will swatch it right now just so you can see, but it's so, so beautiful and catches the light really, really nicely. And because I've got brown eyes, I just feel like it kind of makes like a statement of my eyes, but I'm pretty sure it would do that with any eye color. So yeah, if you're looking for new eyeshadows, especially cream eyeshadows, then have a look at these. Speaking of eyeshadows, the lustrous eyeshadows are my next thing that I recommend. And these were kind of the first thing that I fell in love with when I worked in Elf Cosmetics before. These are just so, so beautiful. And back then I wasn't really 
a master of makeup, not that I am now actually, but I didn't really know what I was doing that much. And for me, these allowed me to create eyeshadow looks that made me look like I did know what I was doing because I popped something through my crease and then these all over my lids and just made me feel and look like I put a little bit more effort into my eye look. And again, these are ridiculously pigmented and are really, really beautiful. They don't blend as much as I'd want them to, but I think because they're so packed full of pigment and sparkle, they just kind of sit where you want them to. So I'll blend out my crease and then what I do is with my finger, is dab my finger into them and then press it all over my lid and it just adds a really like pop of something special to your eye and I just think they're absolutely beautiful. As you can see I've got four of them because I absolutely love them but I'll swatch them on screen for you now so you can kind of see what I'm talking about in terms of like the texture but I think they're so beautiful and I'm really glad I have them in my connection. This is the one I've had for the longest, this is the white one. I think all the names have come off the bottom but I'll link all the ones that I have and yeah this one is just like nearly broken because I've used it so much. I use the white one as well on the inner corner of my eye, on my brow bone and sometimes on my cheeks as well so they are really multi-purpose and I just love them. And last but certainly not least is a highlighter and this highlighter is actually getting talked about a lot on like social media and YouTube and everywhere but it's actually been out for ages. This is the Baked highlighter in blush gems and I've had this for like two and a half years now so it's mad that it's taken people this long to realize how good it is but I think when I bought this it was like four or five pounds so I hope it hasn't gone up too much in price but this is such a beautiful highlighter it's kind of like a champagne gold um it kind of reminds me of Jaclyn Hill's champagne pop but that one is definitely I would say that's a definitely like more intense highlighter this is really, really beautiful, still really intense, but isn't as like a crazy pop highlighter in your face. But a lot of people are raving about this and I 100% agree because this is one of my favourites. It's a really beautiful kind of like iridescent glow that isn't too much and you can blend it out to be really subtle or you can build it up to be like pop in your face. But what people do say is that you need to get rid of the initial layer before you get like the intense highlighter that everyone talks about. So if you do buy one and think this is crap, what is everyone on about, just work your way through it and you will soon realise that it's great. I will highlight it, highlight it right now, I will swatch it right now so you can see exactly what I'm on about but it's really really beautiful and for the price point compared to like the 20 something pounds you pay for some of these other highlighters this is a really good go-to if you don't want to spend the money and there's not much you could say about this than it just is great. And that's it. I think I powered through that in like record speed. But those are all my favourite, favourite products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Don't forget to leave any of yours in the comments because I'm definitely going to pick up some more new things very, very soon. I don't think I said actually that they're available in Superdrug. I think exclusively in the UK. So if there's anything you want and you see in this video, I'm going to link it down below. So just follow the link and that will take you through to Superdrug. So yeah, I think that is everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did like this video and I will see you next week.